Let me introduce you to Michael Giacchino, one of the most sought after composers alive today. Michael Giacchino is a 52 year old man who was born in New Jersey. He grew up there. He's an American, but he's of an Italian descent. And obviously he's not died, it says still living. Um, Michael Giacchino, he was a creative kid. And when he was only 10 years old, his teacher, uh, when he, he was 10 years old when he started making different animations, but when he was in high school, that's not much older than you. When he was in high school, his art teacher said, hey, you should check out this specific school in New York City. And so he enrolled. And while there, he took an unpaid internship at Universal Pictures. So what's that mean? what that means is he went to go work for Universal Pictures without getting paid. And he just wanted to demonstrate what his work ethic was and they got to see his talent and his gifts. And after that internship was over, he actually got employed. He was, he was employed by them and he was being paid. He got the money. Um, he later started working for Disney and he started composing video game scores during the 16-bit era. He also started making music for films, many for Disney Pixar, as well as scores for television programs. And the big thing about Michael Giacchino is he is a gifted composer, and he's also been recognized for his work with various awards from the entertainment industry. Now, the definition I want you to be aware of is 16-bit music. Now, many of you play video games. I would love for you to do an experiment sometime. I would love for you to play your video game without the score, without the music, without anything to help you, and listen to how it changes the action. Michael Giacchino was responsible for some of the most popular video game scores in the 90s and early 2000s, and he did that with 16-bit music, music used for video games, starting with the Sega Genesis and Super Nintendo. I say that because that was what the commercial always did. So 16-bit music is music used for video games. So the video games he worked on were these that are on the screen, Mickey Mania, Gargoyles, Lost World, Medal of Honor, Allied Assault, Frontline, Call of Duty. Can you imagine playing these video games without any of the sounds without any of the the music playing along with them it you it really would change how you would feel about the game it would just kind of change the, the the movement so he obviously worked from 94 to 2003 uh, there in the 2000s he started flipping over to more television if you know the name jj abrams he and mr giacchino are close though they work together a lot and these, many of these shows, as well as in, you'll see uh, the films that J.J. Abrams does, Michael Giacchino usually does the scores. So these were some of the television series scores that he did. Alias, Lost, Six Degrees, Fringe, Undercovers, and Alcatraz. Now, these are the film scores that Michael Giacchino composed. That means that he created from nothing. <laughs> he created the film scores for these movies. And, and I wonder how many you've seen. Um, if you want to email me and tell me how many of these you've seen that he has written that you had no idea that, that this person that you're learning about, actually, he wrote those. Now, the ones that I want to talk to you specifically about, and I'm going to play, actually, a piece of his score, is from the Disney uh, Pixar animation score, Zootopia. Now this particular part of the score is called Stage Fright. It's from Zootopia and I want you to listen to how he creates the anticipation using the instrumentation. Listen carefully.
and that is for a cartoon. <laughs> that is for an animation, and he uses that intense of a score. So um, thinking about the different instruments that were in that, you heard the strings, you heard obviously the percussion, we're playing some of those, but you also heard the um, woodwinds, those low clarinet and uh, bassoon tones. Those were really cool. Now the final thing I want you to be aware of is that Mr. Giacchino has been been recognized for his gifts and his talents. He's won Golden Globes and those are awards given for both TV and film. He's won Academy Awards. Academy Awards are Oscars. Those are given for film. He's won Grammys. Those are simply music-based awards. And he's won Emmys. Those are for television. So Mr. Giacchino is a pretty amazing guy. And we're going to learn a little bit more about him. So I wanted you to be able to put a name with a face. Michael Giacchino.